Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be creating a cool little God Ray particle effect that you can use. And I'll be showing this in URP, but it works in all other pipelines, whether it's standard or HDRP. And I will show you the brief implementation for others. But be sure to throw a like on this video because it would really, really help me out. So let's get right in. First of all, I'm just in a default URP scene and we don't actually need anything to be able to make this happen. So what I'm going to do to start off with, I'm going to right click in my project panel, go create and I'm going to create a material and I'm just going to call this particle and I'll call this my God Ray material. I'm going to select on that material that we've just created, go to the top here and go to the universal render pipelines and it's going to be particles and it's going to be on lit. If you're wanting to use the normal render pipeline, you can just go to the particles without going to URP and do it in exactly the same way. And I want to make sure on the surface type we have transparent and on the blending mode, we want it to be additive because we want to be able to control the different colors that we have. You can have it as a, a multiply, so we will be able to adjust it and we're going to set a base map. You can select either the default particle, which comes with Unity, which is built in. And you can see my preview down here. We've got the standard or one which is a slightly bigger effect and I'll choose the slightly bigger one and we'll get straight into it. Now, what we can do in our hierarchies, right click, choose effects and choose particle system. You can see that my particle system is now here. It is just got the default particle with it. We're going to go down to the renderer and we're going to open that up and we're just going to drag our new particle god ray in there and you can see the particle look like it is like that. We're going to be able to set the 3D rotation of our object. So we'll go back to the top and we'll go to 3D start rotation, which lets us control each axis separately. So what we can do is we can tick that and then on the drop down next to it, we just want to do, we want to do the random between two constants. So it's going to be between zero and 360 degrees. And then it just means that it will always rotate around that for us. Do the same, but we want the start size 3D, so the 3D start size. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the Y value to around 20. So we're quite tall in the Y axis and we've got it going on like this now. Then we're going to put the start speed because we don't want it to be actually flying around initially. We're just going to set this to zero so you can see now it's directly in the center. We're going to also now I'll just close the top up and we're going to change the emission and we're going to set keep the emission rate at 10 and then we're going to change the shape. So I'm going to use a box and then you can change the X, Y and Z depending on how big you might want this to be. So I will just change this to 555 five, five in the X, Y and Z just for now. And then you want to go back to the top and we can adjust, adjust the start color. So you might want a sort of orangey and just something that looks sort of very pale just because it would want to match with the actual light source that you have. And now we want, if we close that back up and we want to do a color of a lifetime and this allows it to fade out because you can see now it's quite harsh. It just pops in and pops out. If we do color of a lifetime and click on the actual color, we can add points when we left click here and here, we just want to be able to keep those as white in between these two values. And now if we click on the actual arrows at the end, we can just turn the alpha all the way down to zero. And now you can see that we've got a transparency on either end. So now they actually fade rather than having a really harsh sort of cutout. And we can pull these in slightly if we want the fade to be bigger or smaller. Now what we can do to create some sort of variation or noise within this particle, we can change it and add noise and we can turn the strength down quite low to a 0.2. And then I will turn the frequency up so we just get some random variation in how it actually shows our particles itself. Now, what I like to also do is set the, down at the bottom in the renderer, is set the render alignment to local. So then we can actually just rotate the actual effect as we want. And what you can then do is you could just grab your object and you can scale this all the way down like we have it here. What I'm going to then do is go back up to, because this, because now this looks a little bit weird, we can go back up to the shape and we can now adjust the actual shape that it is because it was even. Now, if I just spread this out and I make my box bigger, we can get a much larger area like so. And you can also do the same for the other values and depending which way you rotated it, like I can increase the Z axis. And now when we've got it like this, we could increase the emission rate to around 30 
so we have far more particles in front of the camera itself. You can go around and adjust the maybe the size of the part, the 3D start size, so you can turn that up or down, and we get a very different highlights. You can you know adjust this and adjust where maybe your camera would be, and you can adjust where your sunlight would be because my sunlight comes in from this direction from the back here and you can see we can create an effect of the god ray just like so and you can affect or change these parameters to your heart's content to create a cool little god ray effect so i hope you like this tutorial and do let me know what you think and if you have any suggestions let me know come and support me on patreon and you can get access to all my project scripts including this one which i will upload to my patreon for you to get Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat and don't forget to check out my awesome assets on the Unity Asset Store. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.